sunshines! This morning I'm going to be sharing the products and things that I loved this December. Diving right in with one of my absolute favorite companies. You guys know I'm obsessed with Espionage Cosmetics, the nerdy makeup company that is just pretty stinking fabulous. This month I have been absolutely obsessed with their new Nerd Preferred Clean line, which is right now a collection of fandom cupcake bath bombs. They are so fabulous. The first three actually sold out within the first 96 hours, which is incredible, and they are just so good. Here's one of my favorite sets from the last round. This is the Mermaid Collection. I love it. It comes with three cupcakes. They're $20 each each set, which is an incredible deal. The bottom part of the cupcake is the bath bomb, and then the top part of the cupcake is actually a body scrub. The glitters are all espionage glitters that are on them, and they're just an incredible value. They smell so good good and I just I'm obsessed with the packaging how cute is this I don't know if you guys can see that but like they have just it's just so cute they have custom insets so the next round of espionage bath bombs is actually launching for pre-order on January 15 and then we'll begin shipping on February 3rd and they've announced a tabletop set and a Union Jack set so far which is super exciting I literally cannot wait this is Tarte's flower child natural cheek stain this is a really old packaging it's kind of an old product. I don't actually think they have this color anymore. I'm wearing it on my cheeks right now, but it's just such a pretty color, and I've barely even used it. So I love this color. I'm loving it for the transition from, like, crisp winter into what will eventually be spring and I just think I'm going to keep wearing this all season. It's so good and it smells so good. Another favorite, this is a combo. I'm wearing this mascara combo right now. This is the Benefit Their Real Mascara as my first layer and then the Urban Decay Perversion Mascara as a second coat. I love the way that the Benefit Their Real just makes my eyelashes look like falsies and I have pretty long eyelashes but I feel like it does such a good job of separating as it's coating and I just love love the Benefit Their Real Mascara. I'm not a huge, like, high-end mascara girl, but I totally love the Their Real Mascara by Benefit. I love the combination of how the Benefit Mascara coats my lashes and lengthens them, and then the Perversion Mascara, like, grunges them up and thickens them. It's a really fabulous combination, and I've been wearing it, like, all the time. You will have seen this pullover appear in many a video already this season, this month, but this is one of my Gap quilted pullovers. I love this pullover so much. It's the perfect color, it's the perfect thickness, it's the perfect amount of slouchy, it's like lazy but still super fashionable. So I love wearing this and like dressing it up with a pair of leggings and a pair of boots and some nice jewelry, some nice statement jewelry, or dressing it down with like just a couple of loose pieces, some leggings and some chucks. It's such a great and versatile piece. I love it. Then I'm lucky enough to say I have two Kate Spade favorites this month. I really love Kate Spade and I've never really owned any of her jewelry and I'm pretty obsessed with it. Um, this necklace my mom got me for my birthday. You guys have seen me probably wear it in most of my videos this month but it's this necklace that says hello sunshine. I just think it's so cute and so perfect for me and I love it and I wear it a lot and it's just it's so perfect. So that's a necklace favorite for my mom and then my friend Avery actually got me a Kate Spade bangle for Christmas. I'm so spoiled. It's this beautiful pink bangle and I just think it's so nice. It's such a great color. Kate Spade bangles all have cute little things on the inside. She wanted to get me a different one but they didn't have it so she got me one that's as hot to trot and I just I think it's so fun and spunky I love it so those are my two jewelry fashion favorites for this month and then my very last fashion favorite for you guys I'm actually I'm actually wearing right now because I can't take them off these Mickey pajamas I actually have two sets of Mickey pajamas but these ones these Christmas Mickey and Minnie pajamas I got from my dear friends Matt and Ebony for my birthday and I just I think they're so fun <laughs> Because what sort of favorites video would be complete without a few other favorites? Bath and Body Works candles. I'm a big nerd and I just recently categorized all of my Bath and Body Works candles in a spreadsheet which I know is pretty geeky but it helps me keep track of which seasons I have the most candles in and I love it. Um, the candle that I've been burning all month this month is the Bath and Body Works candle in the scent Evergreen. Oh my gosh, it just smells like Christmas and the holidays. 
in our tree and it's really helped to like spruce up the smell of our tree. You can see that I've burned quite a bit of it. This last little bit just won't burn away though and I want this jar because I want to do something with it but um, anyway. I think this is probably the farthest I've burned a candle down in a long time so that makes me happy and the scent makes me happy. And then kind of an other favorite slash food favorite is Tiny Tea by Your Tea. Your Tea has a bunch of different types of teas that are supposed to help your body with different things. The One of the ladies who owns or is a part of your tea has studied Chinese medicine and it's fantastic what these will do for your body. The tiny tea is a 14 and 28 day tea tox that boasts to help reduce bloating, remove toxins, improve energy levels, and nudge away any surplus weight. And you're supposed to drink it three times a day for 14 days or for 28 days. I felt less tired. I felt less bloated. Um, I haven't really been working out a whole lot uh, while I've been drinking this this month, but I have noticed a difference already and I do have another box that I purchased to do the 28 day version of the tea tox and I will definitely pair exercise with that because I want to see what the difference is with the 14 days without exercise and then the 14 days with exercise. The results are incredible. I found them on Instagram I think and just was so blown away with their results. So I actually reached out to them and they sent me a box to review and then they also sent me a box to give away. So stay tuned because that will be coming. I just want to make sure that I really put it to the test. So I'm doing that right now and a review and a giveaway will be coming very soon. First of all, I finally finished Buffy. Oh my gosh, I finished Buffy. I love it. I was emotional. I was very emotional. Um, but I absolutely love Buffy. I'm obsessed. I can't wait to start reading the graphic novels. And more specifically, I think my two favorite characters of all time out of the series are Spike. I love Spike. I shipped it so hard. I love, love, love Spike. And I also really love Andrew. The last television favorite is another TV show that came out a long time ago. And Tom Hanks and Steven Spielberg were producers of this show. But finally, over New Year's, Emily and I started watching and finished watching Band of Brothers. It's based on a book which is based on a true story of the airborne division of the army during World War II. And it's fascinating. It follows the stories of these characters and as they enter the war, as they grow through the war, and it ends with the end of the war. We watched two episodes on New Year's Eve and then, you know, did New Year's Eve. And then on New Year's Day, we came upstairs after hanging out with our friends for brunch and we watched seven more episodes. We watched, there are only 10 episodes in the series, so we watched two on New Year's Eve, seven on New Year's Day, and we did make ourselves stop and wait for the last episode for the day after, um, but we finished it last night and I was blown away. I was so incredibly moved. It was such a moving, incredible piece. The actors were fantastic and they were so well cast to, for the men that they were representing. And a lot of these men are still alive and it was so incredibly poignant because at the beginning of every episode they interviewed the men and they didn't tell you who the guys were until the very last episode when they had them interviewed not at the beginning instead but at the end and it was so incredible because you could see in the actors that they chose to portray these guys you could see them but yeah it was a fantastic show it was so well shot directed edited everything about it the visual effects the this audio effects everything about this show was just incredible and it was so moving it brought it home and made it feel and like just reminded you how real the conditions that these guys were in and the conditions that our armed forces endure to protect us and to keep us safe and freedom isn't free and it was just it was incredible we are gonna own it because it was just so incredible and I can't believe it took us like 13 years to watch it 14 years to watch it but I'm so glad that we did because it was so fantastic Okay, you guys, well, that is my December favorites. I hope you guys enjoyed, and I hope you enjoy seeing these favorites videos from me. Look forward to more in the future. I hope you're having a wonderful 2015 already, and a happy, happy new year to you and yours. I'll talk to you soon, and see you in my next video. Bye!